at a summer festival episode and they said that you know it's party time every day are we gonna have another party are we gonna have a new season coming in let's find out today's reaction shizu hello but you're dead she's dead and that's what these floating fire thing is right to indicate that like she's passed away and this is like a spirit form from like the underworld or something right is anyone ever gonna be able to interact? I don't think so, right? Is she just haunting us? Little kid! Can little kid see her? Yes. Yeah, it's just Here's the bunny girl. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> really, on, on the episode where Shizu's ghost comes to visit, you know, to see how Rimuru is doing, we're gonna be, yeah, we're whoring your body out in a bunny girl suit. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, it's a maid outfit. Okay, this is this degenerate. This, this is, this is Rimuru get. Okay, the, the maid outfit, I get it, but like, really? You're gonna bring like a middle school, like an elementary school fucking swimsuit as well? Come on, Shio. Who made this shit? How did they even know about this? Changes. Okay, I was like, are we done with Bunny Girl Rimuru? No, no, no. Tomorrow is the Bone Festival again, so... Bunny Girl's coming. You just think her ancestors? うたげ。そして別々の種族でも今は同じ町の家族だ。仲間たちとも絆を深めてほしい。確かに。俺も知らない。たくさんの料理を乗せて家族と楽しむ敵の。I think he did, right? He just, on, a, on an instant, he was like, uh, fun food stuff. Yeah, you're, you're all different foods here in a plate. Yes, yes, great, yes. <laughs> okay, so there is actual more, you know, like, lore. So Bone Festival has appeared in July when the ghost of something, but we don't need to know more. Basically, Ghost of Shizu is going to be replacing that for our festival, though. <laughs> The Rimuru Retreat. This little vacation spot for Rimuru? Dog bowl? He's a humble man. Rimuru-sama Okay. Because I was a neat. <laughs> okay. Hakuro go up to fishing? Sekaganayasuminanonishishotanaisu. <laughs> See ya. Don't wanna be ya. That's actually impressive. That is actually impressive. He fooled Hakuro, got away, sneak level 100. Serious mode. Serious. Is that all a dog hat? I'm like, I was looking at that entrance. I'm like, is that for Ranga? Ranga can't fit. It's for Rimuru. Okay, okay. あ、ノブシみたいだったのに、今や立派な格子霊館だな。よ、何し、こう、大変だな。町も大きくなって、人員も増えましたし、白老の仕事のおかげで、皆の腕もめきめき上がっています。見逃さず。<笑> 
無敵の軍団を OK 失礼しますお前変わったな<笑> Yeah, I guess so <笑> You missed a spot? <laughs> Shuna has him just by the ball. It, it's, it's just like she has conditioned him so hard that he felt despair. But she was like, Oh, you missed a spot. Yoink, what are you gonna do about this? Damn, bro. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of cool. There was, there was a dusty card, and then Benny just swiped it. That's kind of cool. Oh! Soy! Secret Agent Soy. Assassin. And Bondage Play. Oh, jeez. There's no room for love, you know? Secret agent Soei can't, you know, fall in love? I don't know. I feel like this is the identity that Soei has set out to achieve, even though no one really forced him to. Like, I think that Soei can live a relatively normal life and have, like, a, you know, a love interest as well, but, you know, he's supposed to be dark and mysterious and cool. No. Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. <laughs> what what the uh, fuck was that entire dialogue? Okay, so it's like we're like, did you listen? Remember East or West? And then Soka didn't really know. And then So is like, huh. Wow, I'm impressed, you know? You ended with one now. Is it a straight man? I'll be the funny man. So you're gonna be a straight man, okay? I I I'll I'll say the goofy shit. Then you're gonna be the straight man, okay? It's like I, I okay, are we on the same page right now? Gobi <laughs> one. This one. So, oh. uh, no. Off screens. Uh, Ogre Village. So they must think Hito is dead right now. Because this is still not chronologically like after, you know, not Visions of Coleus. It was the uh, Scarlet Bond, right? So we don't even, yeah, we haven't had the movie yet. Got it. Gail did all this, by the way. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The naming does help with the evolutions. Just like you, Wakasama. Yeah? <laughs> Can we, can we see a little bit of Benny Dad? Daddy Maru? Yeah, I'm Yes, you are. Oh, Jesus! Because a slime is not marketable, but if you have a slime that turns into a gender fluid, androgynous, female leaning. Character, then you can hoard them out and make an entire spin off series and milk even more money. That, that's, the, that's the entire point, in my understanding. We're gonna see the idiot trio in Slime Diaries. Oh, there they are. Shizu mentioned. Come join! You're gonna see him in a bunny girl outfit. Shizu-san, 
えっとねバニー姿で魔物に追っかけられてた<笑> uh, what, what She was in the form of Bunny being chased by monsters. That's a Rinwuru in a Bunny Girl outfit that she's just predicting the crazy prophecies, bro. She's got like. She can see through dreams, man. It's some fucking Kwisatz Hadrak like Dune shit, bro. <laughs> okay. Lake says. Okay, Gabi to parents. Hi. I just realized, did we ever send an invitation out to Gabiru's dad for the third season party invitation? Or hitting the, like... I don't think they were even ever mentioned. Damn. I, I don't remember, because like, it's important to like, like, give every important nation and kingdoms, you know, invitation and stuff, and there's been a lot of focus on different nations, of course, but like... Gabiru's dad, we just kind of skipped over, right, so far? Like, so far we have. Hi. そして我が一族の歯車のよりはい相変わらずですが生き生きと働いておりますあいつは大義であったはそれでは時にそうかでもボーイフレンドそんななそうえそなたに縁談が Father, you really think that this is the guy? Really, Father? You think that that's good? Come on! So good. Hey. Oh, Clayman Castle? Wait! Clayman Mansion? Also, I wonder how, like, you know, Soka feels about... Because, like, she's obviously humanoid now, right? And I'm not sure if she's still into the lizards or, like, the perception of what is attractive and not. I wonder if that changes as you evolve into different forms like that. Kind of interesting to think about, but... Clayman time. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any character here that we don't know? Sky Queen. Guy Crimson. Uh, this is... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. On the far left, that's the Beast King guy, right? And then over here, this is Sky Queen. I can't really tell who this guy is. This is Guy Crimson, probably Liam Cromwell. Maybe Giant Guy, Dino. Who is this guy right beside Guy Crimson? Who, who, who is this guy? Because, like, Octogram hasn't been formed yet, man. Oh, it's Clayman. Oh, okay, it's Clayman, it's Clayman, it's Clayman. Medium is not shown here. Neither is Ramidus, huh? But yeah, it's I was like, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's so fucked up that like it didn't even register in my head that this could have been Clayman because I don't even think of him as a demon lord. Like, <laughs> I was like, that That's not Roy. Who is this guy? Oh, oh, right. Clayman was a demon lord by title. Ah, uh, uh, whatever. All right. So. <笑>私こそがこのディスタブを滑る。そろそろワルプルギスの。そろそろワルプルギスの。シーズン<笑><笑> He just has a bunch of the same cups in the fucking... <laughs> for his tea. What about the champagne glass, you know? He used has a champagne glass or something, but okay. Sky Queen! Mirim! Why is the most epic soundtrack playing while Clayman is picking up, you know, what tea he wants to make? Even the tea has, like, their custom, like, you know, packages. Look, they got their, like, Clayman face, bro. It's pretty funny. This, this entire Clayman scene is actually hilarious. This is 
obviously peak, right? And like slice of life moments like this for quote unquote evil or serious characters are hilarious. Like for example, Classroom of the Elite, Ryuen, season one pool episode, kicks down a wet, wet, wet floor side and says, <laughs> I go whatever I want, you know? These like funny moments, casual moments for evil serious characters are truly peak. Henshin! <laughs> Why pink, bro? Listen, I wear a pink tie, right? I, I wear a pink tie, but you got a whole lot of pink apron, alright! Oishi <laughs> scone. Water Purgus plan. Preparation to serve the scone. Bro didn't bring the tea or the scones to the Wild Purgus, did he? Did he bring the fucking scone? I don't I don't think so. Imagine it was actually there though. What's going on here? this is even funnier because like the most recent Tensura episode had Gazelle in the same seat talking about the dangers of Rimuru and like you know the potential of like what it could mean, right? This is Henrietta, right? This is Henrietta. We got Jane over here as well, the witch. Okay, the prophet oracle witch. Alright. She got one peep left. What's going on? Yokoro. <laughs> Such a serious fucking scene. Is he coming to visit Rimuru now? To like do the fight? Does this line up actually? Wait, he actually did he does he not know Rimuru? He does know Rimuru. Actually, I'm confused. By the time we have the ogres, Gazelle knows. But he's acting like he doesn't know and he's about to go find Rimuru. I don't know. Yeah, this is like the fight, right? The sword fight, right? He's got the heaven and earth sword battle. I'm not sure. People are saying he didn't know him here yet. People are saying this is before he goes off to fight. Okay, so I guess this scene is like... Even before. This is like... Even... I'm fucking confused. Anyways, Gazelle doesn't know him right now. <laughs> Basically, Gazelle, you know, you know, eating Rimuru made him do that. Yo, where did Bunny Girl go? There's a, there's a little bit. Of, I thought they're really teasing us with the Bunny Girl, you know, Rimuru, which you know, she's showing up. They, they teased a little bit in the beginning. Are we gonna see it at all later on? We'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we are, you know, developing really fast. あ、もっとんだけど。ん?森でお前たちに最初に出会った時にさ、強き者よ。この先に何か用ですか?エピソード Goblin Culture Festival. What do we celebrate? Pillaging villages? Taking their women? Bathhouse. Quota reached. Good job. Good job, Gob Goblin. Every everyone did well. Good job. <laughs> There she's you? But what about Bunny Girl? Sure, yeah, that too. Yeah, the other things. Oh? Oh. Sad soundtrack. Leon Cromwell!
What was her final wish, actually? It was to take care of the kids and also was the, was the revenge also a final wish? It's I don't think killing Rilan Cromwell is gonna resolve anything, but it's protect the kids and something along the lines of like whoever did this to me, right? Like I wanna know like why was I summoned? I'd have to go back and actually watch that episode. Yeah, get answers from Leon, right? Just figure out like why did you do all this shit? Well, he's trying to find a woman. He's trying to summon this one specific girl, I think. Anyways. Okay, the, 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 the middle girl swimsuit, the elementary middle school swimsuit, I don't know about that. Is that it? One zucchini, one cucumber looking thing, mask incense, I don't know, Japanese culture? I don't know. この姿とスキル、すげえ助かってる。いつかお礼をしたいんだけど、ごめん。Here comes Shizu. <gasps> Hog from behind. 気にしないで。私の姿、終わったはずの人生に思いもよらない。素敵な素敵な。Blame the author for whoring you out. The embarrassing outfits ain't gonna stop, bro. He hurt! Now, there's no, like, actual ghost in this world, right? Like, there isn't an actual, like, explanation. This is more like, you know, we're doing Slime Diaries, and she's just gonna come visit, you know, it's, a, it's the Bond Festival, ghost stuff like that, so there's no reason to read any deeper than just, like, you know, it's just like a one-off thing, a little bit of fan service, she's coming in, you know, Rimuru kind of hearing it, it's just like, whatever, right? It's, it's, it's not like it's, like, plot-relevant, right? Freya's enjoying the scones! The scones that Crayman hand me, bro! Fuck, if you do stuff like this with Clayman, like, makes me like him more, because, like, the anime made him to be a complete asshole, but, like, Slime Dyer's is, like, having these, like, you know, cunny moments makes him a lot more likable, you know? <laughs> this is not how I remember this. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa, the fuck up. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't how I remember them meeting each other for the duel. That's not... <laughs> Imagine if they actually fought like that, bro. <laughs> yeah. Medium. Medium appears, finally. <laughs> Mao Medium. <laughs> Time to give her some honey. That's it? No? Medium? Well, you were at the opening a couple times. She's breaking the fourth wall! And that is today's episode of Slime Diaries and... Fuck, this episode was so funny. Because of like... Uh, listen, the Clayman scene might have been the best moment. Yeah, the bunny girl outfit. You guys are just coomers. But like... Clayman just... <laughs> baking scones? Putting on the oven mitt on, taking his glove off, just, you know, walking in his, like, demon castle fucking place. And it's just so funny. If they did this shit, I would have felt so bad for Clayman at the end of season two. So maybe it's better this way. And it's just like, yeah, you know what? I like Clayman now. There's like, apparently like a spin-off manga as well too, right? And then it's just basically, today's episode was, you know, culture festival for every different race here and species. Um, Bond Festival, so for some reason there's a lore of like a ghost coming to town and, you know, revisiting the memories that's supposed to be Shizu. I don't think there's any more... I don't think there's anything deep about like Shizu actually saying stuff and Rimuru hearing the words, right? I think that's just fan service. And then, finally, Mao Milim shows up. Next episode, finally, we are in like season one episode... What is this like? I don't know, like 15, 16? I don't know, well, that's it for me. If you're still here... If you enjoyed this reaction, though, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.